Spoiler alert, Jon Snow ain't no bastard, says I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came to read. Girl, so we start out with Miss Braun, sweetie. She's with Miss Jamie, girl. And she has said, girl, get your ass up out this water, sweetie. I know that you're at... Braun was like, girl, why did you even try to do that shit? Did you not see Dr uh, Drogon sitting right there, bitch? He's like, girl, I thought I could end the war, sis. And, J and Braun's like, girl, I need my money and I need my castle. So you have no permission to die, bitch. You can't even kill yourself, bitch, until I get what I need, okay? And Jamie's just taking in all the factors. He's just like, girl, I'm supposed to be the sickening ass leader of this Lannister army. But it's like, girl, she got a whole dragon. And she, a bitch, the tea is that she has three of them hoes so if she really wanted to she could have really rocked our shit she only gave us drogon so it's like i don't know what i'm gonna do from here on out so we see Tyrion just looking on and seeing all his motherfucking i feel like he's seen some relatives burnt the fuck up he didn't know he knows a few people in this motherfucking army that had been that drogon had barbecued and he said girl i don't know how to feel about this shit i don't know how to feel honey daenerys is talking to whatever is left of the lannister army and drogon is just chilling on the rock behind her he is big as fuck i'm talking about monstrous and I, was, I would not want to be anywhere near him at this moment, especially with Daenerys' ass just standing right. I would not want to be near him. So Daenerys is just standing on this motherfucking rock. She was perched. And she said, you know what, sis? I, would, I really like it, girls, if you hoes would bend the knee. And girl, you know, they thought that she was joking around. They thought that it was just a joke. I don't know why anybody would decide that that shit was just, like, she was just playing around. She didn't really mean it. When Jordan Drogo literally lit you hoes up, and he's standing right there, bitch. As soon as that hoe said that, I'd be like, just like this, bitch. Uh, bitch, I'm bending the goddamn knee. But they want to act like they didn't hear Daenerys the first time. So Drogon has said, bitch, bitch did, did you not hear what the fuck she just said? It's time for some you hoes to bend the knee, bitch. Drogon said, ah! Oh, bitch, them hoes, okay, all right, bitch. But the ta the Tully, the Tarleys, whatever the fuck their name is, they, bitch, they stood firm. They said, fuck it, fuck it. You are not my queen, sis. You are an invader. And, you know, Cersei did all this fucked up shit, but at least she was, you know, she was from Westeros, bitch. Okay, sis, y'all were so bold. I'm giving you another chance. You say you will not trade your honor for your life. Okay, I respect that, sis. Dothraki, would you please come and ask her? And Tyrion just like, mama, please, no, mama. Mama, your grace, your grace. No, no, send him to the wall. Anything but that. Girl, move. Get this shit out of here and I think that Daenerys in this instance made the right fucking call she said bitch I'm not trying to have a bunch of prisoners I'm not trying to have these hoes I need them to serve me and sometimes you have to just show these hoes who you are sometimes okay and that's what she did with this battle and that's what she did when she looked bitch and she said I right, Daenerys Storm first of her name you know what I mean the mother of dragons bitch the unburnt hoe sentenced you to die bitch it had paused for a minute I said she gonna say it and I'm, I'm, my pussy's gonna get wet bitch she gonna say it and I'm gonna be shut that whole whisper that whole whisper she said, Dracarys. And, and Drogon had said, I said, bitch, just. Ugh, bitch. He burned these bitches up. It's really good to see how connected. Da Daenerys is to Drogon because it seems like she he's literally just an extension of her at this point. He's not rebelling. He's not doing anything crazy. He is an extension of who she is and what, and what she wants to get done. And it's just, she whispered Drakars and, and Daenerys said, bitch, coming right up. We have a motherfucking roasted pork sandwich. These holes burnt the fuck up. A lot of people are trying to say that she's becoming the Mad Queen or she's like just like her father. I'm not sure why y'all hoes say that because the, the battle was called, what is it, the Attack of the Loot Train. She she used Drogon to burn up their supplies when she really could have fucked their ass up for real and had the majority of the focus on the men if, themselves. So I think she's, she's walking the line of like being this powerful ass monarch versus making sure that bitches know not to walk over me and I think she's doing just fine. Oh girl, Jamie and Braun got away sis and, they, and Jamie ran his ass back to Cersei ass. You know, they in the red keep talking about this shit. And Jamie just reiterates again like girl, Daenerys only used one of our dragons. I'm not even done counting up the names of how many people died. She has three of them hoes. She has a whole motherfucking Dothraki and they're good fighters. We're, this is a war we're not going to fucking win. Like Cersei, you, all jokes aside sis, you know, you tried that scorpion shit. All it really did was prick Drogon and made him even more angry. It really wasn't all that great sis we we're not gonna be able to do this shit so you need to come up with another plan he spilled the beans to her that Olena killed her son as I said in previous video Cersei was just like girl I never should have listened to you I should have tortured her ass you gave her this kind ass poison that's not something that I'm agreeing with so I'm very excited for this next scene because Danny comes home bitch she landed her 747 Boeing jet right next to motherfucking Jon Snow ass Drogon was just like hey girl what's the goddamn tea bitch what's this man over here bitch Drogon you know he does that little stumbling walk bitch he walked up to Jon Snow was just like I said bitch what's the tea bitch this we're confirming his Targaryen heritage girl Jon Snow took off his glove and started reaching forth to touch motherfucking Drogon and Drogon was like 
And then he, bitch, the hoes are friends now. They're connected. Maybe Daenerys is a little bit just like, girl, Drogon don't like many people, sis. What are you doing? But it just confirms the fact that his ass is really the son of Rhaegar, bitch, which we find out. You know, he's a true Targaryen, and it's going to be interesting to see what the fuck unfolds, especially in these last ending ass battles. Jon Snow was like, god damn, you came back quick. You weren't gone long at all. And then he was like, what happened? And she was just like, I have one less enemy, sis. That's it. And Danny said, girl, I, I know you probably don't know how to feel about this. And he's like, I don't. But Daenerys went on to say you need to leave by strength and sometimes strength is terrible that's what she said so that's another reason why I think she's not she's not turning into the mad, mad queen it's just she has certain tendencies she, she tends to be very intense but I think she's able to separate the difference if there is one in Game of Thrones between being completely cruel and doing what you have to do. So she asks Jon Snow, like, girl, what did, what's his face? What does Sir Davos mean by you took a knife in the heart for your people, sis? What did he mean, girl? And Jon Snow is making this shit a big deal, like, oh, don't worry about that shit, don't worry about it, before he could even answer. And I think, honestly, they're going to fight dead people. Jon Snow's coming here telling her about the army of the motherfucking dead, and it's just like, if your ass got stabbed and killed and died and woke the fuck back up, your ass is a White Walker. George R. R. Martin said that no matter what, if you come back from life, you're a fucking White Walker. Whether the Red God raised you or not, whatever it is, it's just a different type of White Walker. So I think that he doesn't want Daenerys to feel like he's also a fucking White Walker and make her distrust him. Maybe that's too far of a stretch, but I don't know. But before he could even answer her question, here comes Sir, Sir Jorah asks, you know, it's a cute family meet and I'm glad that his friend zoned ass made it all the way back to Dragonstone. You know, he's fully cured, just like his queen commanded him to do, and now he's back on the force. He's back on the team. I'm so happy to see Sir Jorah ass. He saved Daenerys ass a couple times. Girl, so we see these ravens, bitch, like they came from Teen Titans, bitch. That's so raven. Them hoes are flying. And it, we see Bran warging in them hoes. You know, he's looking, he's looking. Bran is looking with these ravens. And bitch, the Night King has said, bitch, he turned his, he turned his head around, bitch. And Bran said, okay, girl, psh, them, them fucking ravens dispersed. I said, girl, the Night King is coming. He, he knows because he touched Bran, he's able to sense his ass everywhere, girl. You, Bran, you need to be very careful because if you can see him, he can see your ass too. Yeah, these hoes are at East Watch, girl. The battle is coming. So Bran sent a raven to the maesters, telling about everything, telling about the White Walks, telling about everything, girl. Like, they're coming, sis. They're coming. And then, so they're reading it together at this table, and Sam is over here, sis, and he overhears them. He's like, girl, you need to listen to Bran, sis. The maesters are just like, girl, I'm the dead teeth. They, like, girl, they, them hoes haven't been seen and still got them on. And Sam was like, you need to trust me. You need to believe me when I tell you the threat is real. I, I can come with a sickening ass plan, a more detailed plan, but girl, pay attention to what the fuck I'm saying. But the, you know, the maesters believe, like, girl, what if this is a ploy from Daenerys to try and get her armies where she wants them to be so she can take what she wants? And it's just like, y'all keep doubting the White Walkers and they're gonna, come in and they're gonna come in and fuck you up like white privilege. So Tyrion and Varys are talking about the fact that Daenerys burned some holes up, even though I think that it was completely necessary. She needed to exercise some of power. You hoes have been holding her back for the first half of the season and that's why she lost all her goddamn armies and all her alliances. And Tyrion was like, girl, all rulers must demand that people bend the knee, sweetie. That's why they're rulers. And Varys was like, girl, I don't believe in this shit, this crazy ass shit that's going on. So whatever, I still think Varys is a motherfucking spy. We're gonna have to get his ass out of there. But then Varys is holding on to this motherfucking sealed message from Winterfell and Tyrion's just like, girl, what's the tea? And Varys gonna act like he didn't read that shit. Girl, we know what you, bitch, you're a master of information. Of course you read that shit. You sealed it and sealed it back up, sis. Tyrion's like, okay, girl, stop playing with me, what does it say? And Var Varys is like, nothing good, nothing good, sis. Jon Snow said, okay, this was cute. If you're not going to go ahead and send your armies up there to fight, girl, I got to go. I got to get out of here. Bran is alive. All, my, my whole motherfucking family's over there alive as fuck. And they're saying like, girl, we don't have enough goddamn men. We're going to have to align with Cersei's ass. So I'm going to go get a fucking White Walker. I said, what the hell is going on here? I'm talking about Sir Jorah said he going to go up there and help their ass. Get a White Walker. Jon Snow said, girl, I'm going to leave the raid behind the wall. I said, girl, y'all are about to shake the living shit out of me right now, bitch. I know this next episode is going to have me so goddamn sure. And Daenerys is over here acting cocky as hell again. Talking about, you can't leave, I didn't allow you to leave. Jon Snow said, girl, with all due respect, I don't need your goddamn permission. I am a king. And then that is like a foreshadowing of what the fuck we're going to find out later. I am a king, since I don't need your permission, I'm going. And then Daenerys was like, okay, go ahead and do it. He was like, girl, I'm done taking your shit, girl. We're really about to die over here. You over here worried about this dumbass hierarchy of rules and shit like that. Girl, get me out of here so I can fight this battle and we can survive, okay? So back at Winterfell, girl, I can sense something is brewing. Something is going wrong, something's going wrong. I'm talking about the leaders of the houses are talking with Sansa and just like, and they're trying to make Sansa go against what Jon Snow said. It's just like, girl, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm glad that even though Sansa disagreed with Jon Snow and some of the stuff that he does, she did not, in his absence, let 
let them do whatever the hell they wanted to do just because he was gone. You know, that's that's the thing with powerful houses. Y'all have to look like y'all are just all together at all times. And she kept it together even though I know she, you know, probably wants a little more. Sansa and Arya are arguing and I feel like Arya's going down this weird ass path. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. Sansa's just like, girl, I'm not, I don't want to take the, the fucking kingdom from his ass. Sansa's like, girl, but I know you think about it, sis. I know you want to be queen, girl. Like, I, I know the thought has crossed your mind once or twice, sis. And then, you know, Sansa kind of brushes it off, but Arya's like, okay, girl. I mean, I just, I'm telling you what I see, girl. I mean, so Tyrion and Sir Davos go to motherfucking King's Landing, and Sir Davos said, girl, I got somebody to see, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, sis. So then we see Bronn saying, oh, girl, we got the train, and they're in the catacombs, girl, where the dragon skulls are. No, we got the train, sis. We got the train, and then next thing you know, Tyrion pops up, and Bran was like, "Got a blast!" And he left. I was like, "Girl, what's the tea?" So Tyrion essentially says, "Girl, we need to align ourselves with Cersei." So I don't know what you have to do. I don't know what you have to say to get this shit happen, but it's gonna happen. And Jamie's just not really having it at first, but Tyrion's like, "Girl, sis, what you gonna do, girl? It's gonna take a lot. You have a sparring fucking thing because you came out here thinking that you were gonna train, bitch, and that's how you get these hoes out of their sword." Tyrion is smart as fuck. They're, they both acknowledge that da Daenerys has the most powerful force, and it's just like, "Girl, just hear me out, sis, because we don't want to come here burning." of the red key. And I feel like if y'all hoes keep acting dumb as fuck, it's gonna happen. And also, we need y'all motherfucking man. We need y'all man, sis. Let's just align and go fight to the north. So, girl, we finally see Jandry ass. We see Jandry ass again. Them hoes said that she, he was rowing in the boat for three whole seasons. I almost screamed, bitch. In actuality, all he did was take his ass back to King's Landing and work as, you know, making weapons for the Lannister army. He said he's tired of the shit. Sir Davos came to take his ass straight back to motherfucking Dragonstone and said that's that. But the T is, these soldiers, bitch, they saw their ass leaving the fuck. They said, hey, you there, bitch. Hey. You there, you there, bitch. I see you trying to escape back to Dragonstone, girl. They said, no, man, what's going on here? What's going on here? And then he talking about some dumb shit. Like, oh, girl, here's some fermented crab type of teas. Here's my gold, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Here's my gold. Here's fermented crab. It's an aphrodisiac. Go fuck some shit and leave me alone. And they were about to until Tyrion ass come down here. They said, oh, bitch, here we go. Here, here we go. Because they recognize his ass and said, girl, Cersei's looking for somebody like you, girl. And unless you can pay us the reward, sis, we're going to have to take your ass up. So what's the tea? You know, they had walked closer towards the boat. And Jandrew whipped out Robert Baratheon's motherfucking Warhammer and just smacked the bitch. He's twirling his ass like he was in the band, bitch. Bitch. And one. I said, yes, ma'am, <laughs> Gentry, bitch. So after talking to Tyrion, Jamie takes his ass right back to Cersei. He's like, you know what, Sid? You know, I have to tell you something. I met with Tyrion. And Cersei's looking at it like this. And honestly, I was like nervous too. I was like, girl, she gonna beat your ass? Like, she gonna have you killed? Cause but she didn't look surprised, but I didn't really clock it at that moment. And Jamie, Jamie was looking like, girl, are you good? Okay, let me keep keep talking. Cersei's so like, what did our brother have to say, girl? And he, tell, he tells her everything. Like, girl, we ain't gonna win this shit. We need to just align up and fight the army of the dead to the north. And Cersei's just like, I knew that this shit was going on. I knew you planned to meet his ass. You need to, are you gonna punish Bronn, sis, for, for arranging something without your knowledge? Girl, I know everything that's going on. She says she has ears everywhere. Like, Varys. And Cersei said, fuck it. Fuck it. I mean, I know that this shit's gonna happen. Let's I'm just let's just align with Daenerys for now, since we need her ass. And then, you know, we'll think about it afterwards. We'll think about killing her ass afterwards. But we're gonna align with her to go to the north and, and do some shit. Just to get her ass out the way. You said army of the dead, all this shit, any all these dragons, everybody, whatever stands in my way, I'm going to defeat it. I said, okay, sir. Well, I believe you're crazy as hell. You're gonna injure a lot of people. I don't think your ass is gonna be successful against these dragons. It's just, I'm sorry. So Cersei says she pregnant. And I'm just like, I don't know if I believe her ass. I don't know if she's using this to kind of manipulate Jamie in the beginning when Kyburn was with her. I think that something's wrong with her. Maybe she's sick. Maybe the poison that she used to kill the sand snake, the antidote was enough and it was fucking her up. I don't know. Either she's sick or something's wrong or she's planning something really fucking bad with Kyburn ass, okay? So Sir Davos carries fucking Jandry ass into Dragonstone, sis. And Sir Davos is like, girl, don't tell nobody your teeth, sis. Don't just, don't tell nobody. And before he could finish the second sentence, here his ass is spilling his teeth. It's fucking Jon Snow ass. So Gendry's dad is Robert, and Jon Snow's dad is believed to be Ned. And Robert and Ned, as you know, were good friends. So they're just reminiscing on, on that fact. You know, Robert's rebelling, all that shit. They're reminiscing. It's cute. Okay, next scene. I can't believe Sir Jorah ass just got to Dragonstone and he's already leaving. He's already leaving. He's leaving with Jon Snow. He's, I'm talking about them hoes are going straight to beyond the wall to bring back a fucking White Walker for these hoes to believe us. Sam is over here trying to focus, okay? He's trying to read his book. He's trying to get his homework done, says he logged into Quizlet.com. 
Blackboard.com and he's just like, girl, I'm trying to read up on these study guides. He logged into Blackboard and saw his GPA was a little low, so he's, you know, he's over here reading books and shit. And he's trying to focus and here come his wife just reading random ass shit, random shit. Sam is just like not here for it. He's really tired. He's fed up with being trapped at this motherfucking citadel, I feel like. He's like, girl, I'm over it. And then the last thing, you know, his wife just steady reading dumb shit and he's like, okay, girl, I'm just, I'm not here for this shit. And then she reads about Rhaegar, girl. Then she reads about Rhaegar, girl. The T is that Rhaegar, you know, even though he was married to that other girl, he had put up a number on that hoe and he married Lyanna. Like, legit, sis, legit. So the T is, and not only is Jon Snow a fucking legit ass Targaryen, he has first dibs on the fucking throne and he don't even know it. He's not a bastard, he's none of them hoes. He has first dibs on the fucking throne, the Iron Throne, before Daenerys, before any of them hoes. That shit has me fucking shook because it's just like, it, what happens when Daenerys finds out? Will there be a civil war against fucking, you know, Daenerys versus Jon Snow? Like, what's the tea? Y'all, they made it seem like they were gonna get married, but like, girl, I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't, cause this is gonna make things very, very interesting. Well, Sam said, girl, I'm tired of being in college. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of all these rules, mom. I'm ready to leave. Let me be an individual, girl. And he said, you know what? I'm tired of reading about the accomplishments of men greater than me, sis. I'm ready to go. He stole some shit from the forbidden place, and it's gonna be magically all the things that he needs to solve the war, all this shit, and, and the war for the dawn and shit like that. He stole all these scrolls and shit and said, girl, let's go. I'm out of here. I don't want to be a maester anymore. So, Littlefinger's annoying cat face ass is doing some back dealing as usual, whispering in the back alleys and shit like that. You know, Arya's just like, girl, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Um, Littlefinger has somebody come to his little apartment, his little studio, sweetie, and he said, girl, are you sure that this is the only copy in Westeros, girl? Because I, I don't want this shit falling into the wrong hands, okay? And the girl said, yes, ma'am, girl. Breathe easy. And Arya saw that shit. She's like, girl, I'm getting in this room. I'm getting it. So Littlefinger left his room and Arya saw that shit, girl. He, she went in there and she's snooping around like she thought she was Scooby-Doo and she found that shit and she said, yes, ma'am. I read something about stealing the throne or some shit. I'm not sure. Um, I tried to pause that shit. I couldn't really make out what it is. Littlefinger was watching her ass the whole time. He was watching her ass the whole time. Arya, girl, you're supposed to be better than that. You're supposed to know when somebody has your tea when, you're, when you've when you been clocked. So, girl, I'm, I'm really disappointed in that shit. You should have waited until you saw... You should have sent his ass away and then went in his motherfucking room. She found that shit underneath his motherfucking bed where he hides his fleshlight and she found some tea that may be some wrong ass, incorrect ass, planted ass tea. I'm talking about Jon Snow's talk with the wildling and the wild bitch, them hoes meet up with the hound there. Thing. Bitch, everybody gets their gripes out. Somebody kills somebody they like. Somebody, bitch, they, all types of drama was within that group, and they tried to solve that shit. Game of Thrones, the show tried to solve that shit within three minutes. It magically got solved. All these grudges just disappeared. Them hoes turned into, like somebody said, my friend Gio said, them hoes turned into the Avengers on you hoes. And bitch, they're marching toward the Night King, girl. I'm talking about it's snowing. The visibility is low as hell. Them hoes can't see through the fog. I am going to have my shit rocked on the next episode so because the next episode is the second to last episode so you know usually in game of thrones that second to last episode you can damn near call it the season finale because it will fuck hoes up okay it will fuck hoes up and i am ready to see it happen and i'm also ready to see drogon ass because i think that daenerys is just gonna say fuck it she's just gonna be like fuck it i'm gonna put all this shit behind me he needs my help I'ma ride my, I'm get these three dragons, we're gonna go burn some shit up. I do think that one dragon is going to die, but we'll see. Hopefully we get to see um, Jon Snow ride a goddamn dragon. That would be everything. But I know that's probably gonna happen in season eight. But thank you so much for watching, girl. I will be here the same time next week. Have a good goddamn evening.